the last big update for Luminar Neo in 2023 has been released. And it includes the introduction of the third generative AI tool, the Gen Expand. In this video, we will first go through all the news and updates, and then we will demonstrate how they work directly in Luminar Neo. So sit down, relax, and join us as we look at the update with the number 1.17.0. Okay, so the latest update is here with the number 1.17.0, and of course that it focuses on the third generative AI tool, the Gen Expand. So let's go ahead and review the list of all the updates that we can discover in this new version. Starting from the front, let's talk about the Gen Expand tool. Now, this is a fantastic tool that can help you to enhance your photos beyond their original boundaries. You can easily adjust the edges of your image and Gen Expand will generate realistic visuals that blend perfectly with the original scene. With this tool, you can now widen panoramic landscapes, you can also break free from the traditional ratios, and you can easily add breathing room to your favorite photos. Talking about the generative AI tools, the Gen Erase now includes handy tips that can help you to get even better results with this tool. To make the tips even more accessible, you can now scroll through them and get the necessary recommendation. Moving to the other tools, the Neon and Glow tool now offer smoother experience, especially in the freeform mode. Additionally, the Denoise and Landscape tools are now easier to use with some of the important sliders being moved away from the advanced section. Moving through the list, we got new camera support for Nikon and Leica brands. And furthermore, Luminar Neo build has been optimized and reduced in size for better performance and stability. Finally, as we are edging closer to the Christmas and New Year, our winter bundle with festive bonus offering over 860 winter and festive elements is still available on our website. So if you want to get ready for the upcoming festive season, now is your time to get it. Okay, so as you can see, we are already in Luminar Neo, and here I'm gonna show you few of the updates from this latest version. Now, before we talk about the Gen Expand, let's look at some of the other updates. First come first, let's take the image and move it into Edit Module, where I wanted to point at the update for the Denoise and Landscape tools. Now, when we open the Denoise tool, you will notice that the Boost slider is no longer hiding in that advanced drop-down box. This makes it much easier to use and it makes the whole workflow much smoother. Similarly, with the landscape tool, we now have the foliage hue slider available in the main tool, which makes it a little bit easier to use, especially for the new users. So this is this part. Now let's go back into the catalog where we can look at the update under the Gen Erase tool. So we have our image still selected and we're gonna open the Gen Erase. While we're here, we can use our brush to brush over the person on the image. So let's do that. And of course, that what you need to do, you also need to brush over the reflection. So let's do that. Now, once we're gonna do that, and when we're happy with the selection, we can click on Erase. And here we have the new tips that will help us to get the most out of this tool. And one more time, you can use the scrolling wheel on your mouse to go through them and read through them and see what you can do to get the best result. Once we return into the tool, we can double check the result. And looking at it, I think it did pretty decent job. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna click on save 
and return into the catalog module. In the catalog module, we're going to go into the generative creations folder where we quickly going to get our new image and we're going to use the same image for presenting the gen expand tool. So we have this landscape image right here. And let's say that I would like to expand it further on either of the side or maybe on the top or the bottom. So first come first, let's talk about the gen expand. Once again, what it does, it allows you to expand your image and basically get more working canvas for your photography projects. Now it's a part of the generative tools. So as you can see, it is located in that generative tools section of the toolbar here in the catalog module. I already mentioned it earlier, but if you want to get an access to the gen expand tool, just like with the rest of the generative AI tools, you either need to be Luminar Neo subscriber, or you need to be holder of the creative journey path. Once you get it, you will get all these tools. And now we can go ahead and test the gen expand. So we have our image selected and right away, we're going to click on the icon to open the gen expand window. As you can see, we have our image with the overlay very similar to the crop tool in the edit panel. On the bottom, we have our little toolbar where we have the name of the tool. We have a possibility to undo or redo what we're going to do. And then also the possibility to zoom in and out on our image. Most of the work is done with the image itself. What you're going to do, you can basically drag the sides or the top or the bottom of your image. And by doing that, you can add the area you want it to expand. Now, when it comes to this specific step of selecting the area you want to expand, I have a four tips that can be quite helpful to get the best possible result. Now, when you're doing it, Ideally, you would not be expanding more than 25% of the original image at the time. In fact, with some of the testing I done, it's more somewhere between 10 to 15%. So 10 to 15% at the time. After that, another good practice is to expand one side at a time. While you can, of course, expand two sides, or the entire image altogether in one step. Again, by doing some testing, I discovered that really it's the best to go side by side. Another great way of getting the most out of the Gen Expand tool is to use the text prompt. You will notice that as you're going to expand at least one of the sides of your image, a new text prompt bar will appear. Now it looks and works exactly the same as in Gen Swap Tool. And all you need to do is to click there and add what you would like to add here. So for example, for this image, we could add winter landscape. Once we are happy with that, and once we are happy with the area we want to expand, all there is left to do is to click on the expand button. Now the application will select that specific part of your image and send it away online to the cloud where it's going to use its AI machine to basically generate that area. Once it's ready, it will send back and it will show us the result. In the meantime, again, you can read through all the tips here and you can navigate through them with the use of the scrolling wheel on your mouse. Now, in the meantime, we have returned into the tool and we can look at the result. And actually, I think it looks very decent. It even created some of the trees and continue with the pattern of the ice and of the water. Now, we can have a look at the before and after with the use of our undo and redo. And then you can decide if you're happy with the result or if you want to regenerate it using the expand button again. Now, of course, that you could continue, you could select another part on the other side of the image. And again, maybe adjust the prompt or leave it the same and click on expand. For me, for this time, I'm happy with the result. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to click on save. 
and by doing that it will take the image and place it in our generative creations folder. If you never use any of the generative tools before, this is a new folder that will be automatically created for you in the folders section. From here you can then take it and drag and drop it into any folders you need. After that, once you're happy, what you're gonna do, you're gonna take the image, move it into edit module and continue with your edit. Now finally, before I let you go, I wanna quickly talk to you about our newly introduced Luminar Neo Winter Bundle. With over 860 new winter elements to power up your Luminar Neo tools, you will enjoy all the high definition skies, overlays, textures, backgrounds, frames, working layers, LUTs and presets to transform your winter and festive images with just a few clicks. If you purchase it right now, you will get an additional festive bundle to really make you ready for the upcoming season. Now to get the best possible price, make sure that you follow the link in the description of this video. And to find out more about it, head to our website cleverphotographer.com. And that's all the news for today. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any of our future news or updates. For today, thank you very much for watching. My name was Jacob Bors and I can't wait to see you in the next video.